Good evening folks, this is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. And today I want to talk a few minutes about uh, this news about varinaclin and bupropion combination uh, using this combination to quit smoking. First of all, this study has showed that smokers who want to quit may have more early success with varinaclin plus bupropion SR that is sustained release formation Okay, folks, thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. I want to talk a few minutes about uh, this uh, news that smokers who want to quit may have more early success with varinaclin plus bupropion SR. This is sustained release versus, versus varinaclin alone. So this study is clearly showing that even though in the early phases, varinaclin per bupropion is good, but in the latter stages, each have almost the same effect or the combination has no more benefit in the latter phases of smoking cessation. Let me share you uh, some of my own thoughts on this. Now many studies are going on at Mayo Clinic and uh, in New York City and the NIH and all these studies and they are good and they are doing randomized control studies and these studies are showing which Therapy is effective. Now, this is an important point, like thousands of people, actually millions of people around the world are dying due to the problems associated with the smoking. And this is the 50th anniversary of the Surgeon General's warning against smoking. And the smoking in some parts of the world is increasing, whereas in other parts it is decreasing. So this new study is showing that varinaclin plus bupropion, even though in early phases it is good, in the latter phases the combination is not that effective. Let us talk about bupropion. It is an antidepressant with dopaminergic and non-adrenergic activity. That's an important part. Bupropion is an antidepressant with dopaminergic and non-adrenergic activity. The sustained release form that is Zyban or Valbutin SR, bupropion doubles smoking cessation rates compared to placebo. It is FDA approved for smoking cessation. The most serious side effect is the reduction of the threshold for seizures. That's the very important point you need to remember. So when you give bupropion, the most serious side effect is it decreases the threshold for seizures. All right, I want to emphasize the point. The most serious side effect is seizure. So needless to say, it is contraindicated in patients with a seizure disorder or a patient who has predisposition towards a seizure. There are other side effects like insomnia, agitation, headache, and dry mouth. And it is used in doses like 150 to 300 mg up to 12 weeks. So it is used in the doses of 150 to 300 mg up to 12 weeks for effective smoking cessation. The drug is started one week before the smoker's quit date to allow for blood levels to stabilize before quitting occurs. Then varinaclin, Chantex, it is the selective partial agonist of the alpha 4 beta 2 nicotinic receptor, a subtype of nicotinic receptor in the brain that appears to mediate the nicotine dependence. So that's an important point. Varinaclin is a selective partial agonist of the alpha-4 beta-2 nicotinic receptor 
which is a subtype of nicotine receptor in the brain that appears to mediate nicotine dependence. It is thought to have a dual mechanism of action, a partial agonist and an antagonist. As a partial agonist, so it decreases the withdrawal. So if a smoker using varenicline uh, smokes a cigarette, then it becomes an antagonist because it blocks those, uh, those stimulatory effects of nicotine, those rewarding effects of uh, smoking that a cigarette produces. So you see, it's an agonist in the sense it gives the same rewarding effects, and it's an antagonist in the sense when a patient smokes a cigarette, he does not get the rewarding effects that he would get while smoking. So this is clearly a very good important Chantix is a good uh, medication and uh, because it has consistently shown that it has a uh, smoking cessation rates three times compared to a placebo. It is FDA approved in 2006. You can use it for 12 weeks at the dose of 1 mg BID. And the initial dose increases gradually to minimize the nausea symptoms. The most important point here is like it is, it causes nausea. Many patients come, like up to 30% of patients come to you and say, I have nausea, I'm going to stop this. And that is the time you need to talk to them. Like, can you put up the nausea? Because there are good things that could happen with this medication when you take it consistently like for 12 weeks and uh, you can also like for a patient with a heavy smoker you can try a combination of bupropion SR and varenicline. So you see like um, uh, it's a very important responsibility folks like to tell any every patient who is smoking to stop smoking and uh, it's not easy like sometimes some patients just laugh at you as if you are an idiot, but it's frustrating. I mean, sometimes you, you might feel like, why am I even telling these losers? They are not going to listen to me. Why should I do this, all these things? It could be frustrating, but you see, you need to do, you need to tell that as a responsibility. And often I associate uh, their current clinical status that is a consequence of smoking as a stimulant to initiate the conversation about smoking cessation. For example, if a patient comes, he's coughing and wheezing, shortness of breath, I would say, you see, you're already having a lung problem and the smoking actually uh, ruins your lungs and uh, lung function. Why can't you take this time to stop smoking? If somebody hit the heart disease comes like I would say the smoking is not good for your heart. It's not good for your diabetes. It's not good for your migraine headaches. It's not good for your this and that. Like that you associate with the smoking and the adverse impact that has the person's health and then initiate a conversation. And many times people would actually listen. Like if you ask them, studies have consistently shown that just for asking like do you want to stop smoking sir that, that question itself goes and impacts the patient's thinking it sticks into his mind and I saw that personally like people are patients when I ask them like do you want to stop smoking I can give you a nicotine patch or Chantix or a Wellbutrin do you want to consider this and many times no no, 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 like that. But after a few months, the same people ask me, I think this is the time you last time you mentioned to stop smoking. I think I, I would try that. I want to try. What do you think is the good thing? Like that, that happened to me many times. So it's important to ask, uh, like, do you want to stop smoking and to consider all the different medications we have and to tell the truth, like for example, if a, a combination is not good, then you have to say a combination is not good. If this patient has seizure disorder, 
you have to say uh, you have chantix you cannot use like that it's a scientific uh, uh, experiment you do with uh, uh, concern and care and compassion hope this uh, things helps you thank you very much have a nice day